Hi everybody, my name is Rhys Barber. I'm the audiologist here at Audiology Associates. We upload new earwax removal videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 9 p.m. UK time, so please consider subscribing. Hi everybody, this is Rhys Barber from Audiology Associates. Thank you very much for watching our earwax removal video today. So we have two patients in this compilation, both of which have quite old uh, earwax. You can tell it's older just because of the color. So it very dark wax, almost black wax is very old wax. It just oxidizes and discolors over time. So what you can see, uh, this patient's come through with wax problems on both sides. At the entrance to this canal, we've got a lot of drier skin, drier flakes of wax going on here. So we've administered a little bit of olive oil just to try and loosen some of these flakes off the canal wall because we want to work on the large piece that's sitting behind it. But at the moment, these flakes are stopping that wax from coming away. So we need to remove these first of all. It doesn't always happen like that. Sometimes you can have a little bit of wax on the outside edge and you can still get to the central plug and take it away. Uh, but in this case, it is going to get caught on these extra pieces. So you can see by taking those away, we've loosened that large central plug now. And out he pops. You can see that much darker color to the back end of that wax. And there we are, the eardrum looking nice and healthy. There's a little bit of uh, dry skin issue here at the top. So we're just going to, in the attic portion of this, uh, this canal, so we're just going to take that away. The little bit of blurring you can see to the screen every so often is because when you administer a little bit of olive oil, the very fine hairs at the entrance of the canal called your cilla, uh, it sticks around those. So you do tend to find you get this kind of a uh, little bit of olive oil. So as you go in, sometimes it'll just coat the edge of the camera. So this is the patient with the other ear. You can see a much, much larger, harder section of dark wax, a little bit of uh, dry skin flakes here at the entrance to the canal. So same as last time, a little bit of olive oil has gone in, just taking away those drier skin flakes. Now this is perfectly formed to the shape of the ear canal. So what we're gonna do now is just lift from the base here and you can see the whole thing starting to move. So as it moves, it works that olive oil you've just administered down underneath the edge of the wax there. And especially when you lift it, you can see it kind of squelching in and out to the left-hand side there. Um, so as that oil works its way down the side, it's going to just loosen that off, reduce any stickiness around the outside edge. We've got a relatively nice plate to work on the front end here. It's slightly uh, tapered, so you've got a slight sort of edge uh, widening at the top end of the wax, but we've managed to get a good grip on it. You can see it's just at that little patch of olive oil again on the outer section there. So you can see the edge of the suction tube coming into play. Just wiggling this up and down, there's the wiggle guys. And out he comes, you can see quite a large dark plug of wax, a really uh, very old and dark and hardened up. Perfect looking eardrum, really shiny and healthy. Um, you can see the colour difference. See the newer formed bits on the, the lighter colour pieces and going graduate in the much darker sections, the older pieces of wax there. So this is our second patient in the compilation. Um, very similar to the last patient, very old wax. So we're just using the standard size ulna tube. There is a little bit of olive oil in here. This was actually administered by the patient rather than by myself. Uh, some patients, uh, especially if they've historically had their ears syringed or irrigated, will uh, use olive oil quite regularly to soften it up. And GPs still advise it quite often. Now, the wax on this side is quite old, but instead of going really hard, as the other side has, has done, it's gone really thick. So it's it's more not crumbly as such, but it's a very odd consistency. It's uh, it it kind of it flexes if you touch it and press it, um, but it it will sort of crumble apart if you start to sort of roll it between your fingers. It's a really difficult consistency to explain, but this patient has this type of wax in their ear canal. They haven't had their ears cleaned out for a, a, quite a few years. And uh, it was actually, I think there was about 20 years, I think. So what we've got is a, is a large buildup in here of this very uh, thickened up wax to remove. Now it's not really budging with the Jobson horn, uh, with the, sorry, with the Zolna tube. So we're using the Jobson horn now just to loosen the top of the wax. There you go. Just pulling through it. It's broken the front end away here. This type of wax is always one of the more difficult ones to remove. 
because of its consistency. With suction, when you're suctioning this type of wax, it will block the end of the suction tube really quickly. And you tend to find as you try to maneuver it, what will happen is it will just bend it and flex it back and forth rather than sort of break pieces away. With the Jobson horn here, you can see I'm not digging into the wax too deeply, just getting the end of the Jobson horn in just so it covers the end of the oval section there to the Jobson horn. The reason I'm doing that is although we can gauge roughly how far we are within the ear canal, we have no idea of the anatomy behind this plug. So if we go like digging in there too far, you can see I'm just popping the end in there just to try and remove this bottom section. It can cause a few problems as far as um, you know, you might hit a lump in the ear canal wall, which would be which would be really uncomfortable. You may drag it across the skin and risk causing some bleeding. So I'm just tidying up the bottom section here using the Zollner tube. You can see when you take that top section away, that this bottom section is still really firmly attached. So what you've done is effectively take the, the wax above it away, but you end up with this long, uh, thick layer of wax at the base of the canal. So I'm lifting that off the canal wall now. You can see just getting that, trying to get a bit of movement to it, wiggling it back and forth to try and detach it from that harder lump behind. But you can see it is all really firmly attached in there. So back in with the Jobson horn now. Just getting behind that lump, trying to break it away from the section behind. There we are. So we've got that, you can see the little tiny hairs embedded in there as well. Okay, so now we have this large chunk of wax deep in the canal. Um, always more awkward to remove because it's completely stuck to the canal wall, which gives you no kind of wiggle room in here. Uh, it's really pressed up very close to the eardrum, if not already touching it, which means that it's you can't just go kind of really digging in here. It would have to be a, a last resort, really, uh, with the Jobson horn to get behind it. So what I'm doing at the moment is trying to peel the right-hand canal wall section away. But you can see what I mean about it is suctioning. So as you use the suction, it just spreads it instead. So now I've moved that across. I can get behind that section and we know this is going to be a little bit thicker now for this section here because I've just pulled the wax across it. So I can get behind that now and try and pull it forward. You can see it just pulled out again. Did break it a little bit away there, so we'll just pop that out. Okay, go back in with the suction now to fold it back over again and to try and loosen it from any edge we can. So just trying to work the suction tube very close to the canal ball but without touching it, trying to loosen any section we can here, creating any gaps. You can see it is completely jammed uh, in here, this section. Can you see how dark the wax is? Well, it's this really very, very dark brown, almost black in color. Okay, so we create a little gap at the top bit of olive oil is going in there now. We're going to see if we can loosen this a little bit more from the from the edge of the canal wall first. As I said, Jobson horn we're going to use as a last resort here. There, now we're starting to see it peel. Now see the olive oil has gone in. So it's just helped to unstick it. So we're bending it across. Obviously you can see there's a little bit of olive oil here at the entrance. What I'm doing there is just clearing the olive oil from the entrance of the canal just so it doesn't flick up over the camera as much, but you can see it still does sometimes. There we are bending that up into place. Loosening from the bottom there, it's just, it's just starting to break away a little bit. You can see it's starting to peel away there just ever so slightly trying to flick this section from the right hand side over the top of that wax again to try and kind of almost stick it to itself so that we can get a better grip with the Jobson horn there. You can see it's just flexing, it's not going anywhere. It's really, really jammed in there. So we're going to try a different approach, trying from the top, see if we can create a more of a gap or, or fold it down towards the camera. not budging there so really struggling with this 
to get it uh, to get it unstuck in here. It is really at home in this part of the canal, really wedged in there. I mean, this is going to be you know some of the oldest parts of the wax here, really bound together. So it's not going to budge with suctions. We have to use the jobs, and we've got a slight gap there, not too deep in. Push down there. Now we're starting to see it move. There you go. So now we've managed to get behind. We've pulled it away from the eardrum now, so we can pull it. Yeah, here you go. So pulling the top section forwards, when we create that little gap between the wax and the eardrum, it means we can safely now get behind this with the Jobson horn. You can see it's just collapsing the wax down now. It's breaking, crumbling away in larger pieces. There you go. Just getting behind that, pulling forwards, trying to avoid the canal wall very very dark chunk of wax there we are there we got him see how big that piece was so it was it was really jammed down in there so no wonder this patient can hear there's the eardrum there you can see lots of redness around the outside edge where this has been rubbing irritating and obviously we've had to move it against the skin of the canal wall as well so same patient second ear now very similar story on this side uh old dark wax again but are looking a little bit softer, certainly at the entrance here. So let's clear this stickier wax from the entrance first of all. Get some of these pieces lifted up and off the canal wall. There you go, peeling that piece away. Just getting behind it now, lifting the next section. There you go, you can see it just starting to come away from the canal. You can see the pink of the canal wall underneath now. There we go, just really working this edge from the, there we go. Now we're starting to peel away a little bit more effectively. There you go. Now we can see all the pink of the canal walls. So we know we've detached this, the uh, the wax from the canal wall there. Now this wax is quite an angular piece, so difficult to get a good grip on it with the suction. So I'm gonna pop, same as before, a little bit of olive oil in here, which is gonna just work down the sides of this wax. So we're gonna do a little bit of wiggling See if we can get a grip. It also helps us to maintain a grip on the actual wax itself. So because you've got that slight um, liquid layer sitting on top of the wax, which is what the oil's doing there, it really helps to bind when you suction onto it. So you can see we're just trying to roll it down now. Uh, see, it just pop back in. It just moved back in a little bit with the suction tube. So we're gonna use the Jobson horn. Trying to gauge it, there we are, up and over the top and pull down. So when we're pulling down, we're actually pulling down and forwards with the wax. So we're trying to, there you go, pop the bottom section out there. There you go, there he is. Nice big thick chunk of dark wax. And when we look behind, we practically got it out in one. So there's a little bit, you can see a little bit of olive oil coated from those uh, hairs there on the outer part of the ear canal. Um, little tiny bit stuck up here in the top corner you can see the discoloration a little bit of oil and thinner wax on the drum itself there we go how do pops and here we are so there's the eardrum now we wouldn't remove that bit of wax because you can see it was just discoloration it would be quite uncomfortable this is what we remove guys so huge amounts in both sides very dark thickened up wax Thank you very much for watching our video today if you did enjoy the video then please like if you're not subscribed already you'd like to do so you can click the subscribe button here if you'd like to check out some more of our videos they're also up there now if you want to follow us you can do on facebook twitter instagram and also check our website if you want to know a little bit more about us as always guys until the next time take care